Bone. Chapter 33. She found them. She found Tanner and his family. They must have been hiding in the root cellar. She should have stayed down. They'll never make it across the clearing without being seen. Come on, Thorn, come on. Hurry, get in here. There's two patrols coming. Hail, comrade. Hail. Where are you going? We are sweeping the area for flatlanders to make certain the farms are abandoned. They are abandoned. We burned this farm yesterday. Why are your warriors still moving west? Haven't you heard the reports? We have heard no reports. Our mission is to secure the area and locate the princess and the small bald creature who wears the star. Then you have not heard about King Duck? You do not know? Know what? Rumors are running wild up and down the front lines. The King Duck is dead. Ah, <gasps> Shas. Nessen, Nessen. It got inspect Nessen. What are they saying? I don't understand. Shh. Well, I understood them plenty. They're looking for a bald creature who bears a star. Sound like anybody you know? Wenzel, keep quiet. I knew you were no good bone. I should listen to Lucius. Just wait till we get back to town, you brunt. I'll fix you good. They're turning around, heading back east. What the heck was all that about? They seem pretty upset about something. They're in a state of confusion. There are rumors their chieftain has been killed. All the patrol teams are returning to their base camps to find out what is going on. How can you tell that? They were talking some kind of gibberish. They were speaking Nessen, an ancient rat creature language reserved for times of war and military emergency. Oh, really? And when did you learn to speak an ancient rat creature military language? I didn't, but for some reason I understood every single word they said. Mrs. Tanner, we have some food and water for your family at a small camp not far from here. That's where the rest of the villagers are. We're going to send you back there until we can determine the town is safe. Why is this happening, Thord? Why are the hairy men doing this? We're trying to find out. I think we know enough. Let's string the little runt up right now. No. We're going to the town. It's cloudless night, so we'll keep to the ravines. Sam can take the tanners back to our camp. John, Wenzel, and Euclid, you know the routine. Let's go. I swear, I don't know what the rat creatures want, Thorn. This is all some kind of crazy mix-up. They're not just after me. They're after some princess. I'm innocent, Thorn. You gotta believe me. Oh, I do believe you. That's the only reason I haven't let Wendell and Euclid string you up. You... you mean it? You believe me? Yes, I do. Would you believe me if I said the princess was innocent, too? Now let's go and see what's left of our town. Oh, no. No. This can't be rat. We must have taken a wrong turn. I'm sure this is it, but... but... It's gone. The entire village is gone. Can't be. There's nothing left. They couldn't have destroyed our whole town. Where's the Barrel Haven Tavern? We're standing in it. Bloody stars. Lucius, where's Lucius? Lucius, quick, spread out. Look for any survivors. You won't find any. Phony, where was the last place you saw Phone Bone? Jeez, out in the barn. He and Smiley were staying up back in the barn. This isn't happening. What are we going to do? This is all that rotten Bone's fault. Him and his dragon slaying schemes. I say we kill him right now. Thorn! What are you doing, Euclid? I said no. Stop acting like an animal. Hasn't there been enough violence? Now put Phony Bone down. No. He swindled us and destroyed our town. He didn't attack the village. The rat creatures did. He tricked us into chasing after dragons. We were away from our homes. We should have been here defending the village. Nobody forced you to follow him. You were a mob looking for scapegoats. But what if we had been here? And Lucius might still be alive. We don't know what happened to Lucius. But whatever it was, if you had been here, you would have shared his fate. And so would all the other villagers who were with you hunting dragons. This bone probably saved half the village by taking you up into the mountains. Why are you defending him? You heard the hairy men. They're searching the whole valley for the one who bears the star. And a princess. They're looking for a princess too, right, Thorn? Shut up, you. Keep it up, Euclid. The more we behave like brutes, the more power our enemies have. What do you say, Wendell? Do we string him up or not? I don't know. This much destruction. Maybe Thorn's right. Maybe there's been enough violence. You don't want to let him off the hook, do you? We're as much to blame as he is. Get a hold of yourself. I'll get a hold of myself right after I twist his scrawny neck. It's Thorn! It's Thorn! She's the princess! Go on, your majesty! Order this ape off me! Princess? Like a princess, princess? Yeah, that's right. And that means Grandma Ben is her fairy godmother. So you're in both. So you're in big trouble, buddy. Don't help me, phony. The rat creatures were searching for a princess. Okay, okay. The rat creatures may think I'm a princess. That much is true. A princess? How? From where? The royal family was killed in the big war. There hasn't been a kingdom for almost 15 years. Yes, I know that. Everybody knows that. Except apparently for the rat creatures and my grandma, Ben. They definitely think I'm a princess, but that doesn't mean I am a princess necessarily. She does kind of look like a princess. Yes, but what does that make old Rose Ben, the lost queen of the valley? Old grandma Ben races cows, remember? Look, I don't know if it's true, but I am sure we shouldn't be discussing it here. That means you can just keep your trap shut, understand? Yeah, yeah. We all got our little delusions of grandeur. I could tell you wanted to get it off your chest. Listen up. This war club belongs to my friend Phonebone. I found it here in the wreckage of the barn, and there's a good chance he and some others escaped. I found some tracks leading away from the compound of the woods. I want to follow their trail. Forget that. As far as I'm concerned, the bones killed Lucius. Hey, you can blame me all you want, pal, but watch your mouth when you're talking about my cousins. 
I'll go alone if I have to. Thorn, we have a camp full of hurt and frightened people back there. Are you just going to abandon them? I can't abandon my friend. Thorn! Miss Thorn! Look what I found! It's a note to Phonebone! That's my note. Where did you find it? In the hollow tree that Lucius and I used to pass messages to each other. Hmm. That's strange. How did it get there? What's it say? I have gone home to Grandma's farm. I wrote this the night I left the compound so Phonebone would know where I went. Dear Phonebone, I have gone home to Grandma's farm. Please don't worry. Just need to sort things out. If you leave the valley before we see each other, goodbye. Lucius must have found the note. And he put it in the tree for you to find, John. Why? <laughs> Wait, I know. Because he went to Grandma Ben's farm to look for Thorn. Bloody stars. If he's right, Lucius might still be alive. Yeah, maybe all our neighbors are still alive. First thing in the morning, we head north to Grandma Ben's place. Right. You go. I have to look for Phone Bone. Will you be coming with me, Fonsible? Who, me? You mean up there? Uh, yeah. I'll go. Well, at least you're not a coward. Or are you more afraid to be left with them? Me afraid? Yeah, right. You're going to need a guy with my skills for protection. Hmm. On second thought, maybe I should go alone. You aren't invincible, you know. What do you want me to tell your grandma if you get hurt? Don't worry, Wenzel. I can take care of myself. Famous last words. Well, turn around quick. We got company. Stick eaters. Um, I think this might be for me. Hello? Can I help you? We bring a message to you from your grandmother. She is waiting for you at Old Man's Cave. She bids you to join her immediately. Old Man's Cave? How do I know I can trust you? Before I can go to Old Man's Cave, I must find my friend Phonebone. Your grandmother bids you to join her immediately. Help me find my friend first. You have to help me, don't you? It is your duty. We are but guides. You alone may walk your path. Then guide me. Should I search for my friend or should I go to Old Man's Cave? Your friend was last seen far away in the eastern mountains. He is rumored to have been involved in the death of the mighty Kindok, and many armies are now searching for him. Oh my! But remember, you have a greater duty to your people. Choose, young one. Time is short. What do I do? I have no idea. Phonebone would know. Your Majesty, Old Man's Cave is on the way to your grandmother's farm. We should go there. Perhaps Lucius and the others are already waiting there for us. I don't know. It's so hard to think. I'll decide in the morning. You heard the princess. We're stopping for that. John, you had the first watch. Yes, sir. Oh, I am stuck. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I cannot move. Thorn, is that you, dear? Grandmother, yes, yes, it is me. Oh, grandmother, where have you been? I have searched everywhere. Come along now. You do not have far to go. I am so sorry for the things I said. Please forgive me. I will never run away from you again. Good, good. That is exactly what I wanted to hear. Now be a good girl and use your sword to cut the vines away from your ankles. But I do not have my... sword? Yes. Draw your weapon and come to me. No, Thorn, do not listen to her. Keep quiet, Lucius. She's evil. Run for your life. Silence! She fooled me once as well. Lucius? Thorn! Grandmother, what is going on? Thorn, where are you? Cannot see you! Give me the sword. Hold tight! Do not let go! Ah! <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh.